Best known for their long, corded coat resembling dreadlocks, the Puli is a hard-working herding dog and family companion. Energetic and lively, the small black dog breed hailing from Hungary appears much larger than they are due to the distinctive coat. Even though these are pure red dogs, you may still find them in care of shelters or rescue groups, so remember to adopt. Thanks to their self-confidence and intelligence, the Puli won't have any problems being the center of attention in your home. These dogs are as affectionate as they are energetic. But novice pet parents should be aware, as all that energy needs somewhere to go in the form of vigorous exercise and lots of playtime. Although the breed's coat is fairly allergy friendly, it has specific grooming requirements. But if you can provide a pup with plenty of love, physical activity, and extra fur maintenance, you'll be rewarded with a loving and loyal furry family member with their unique looks. Males of this breed typically stand 17 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh between 30 to 35 pounds, while females stand 16 inches tall and weigh between 25 to 30 pounds. The unusual corded coat often draws the attention of those unfamiliar with the breed, but to those who know and love the Puli, it's his personality that stands out. The Puli is fun-loving and affectionate and enjoys the company of his family. He's also smart, hardworking, and athletic. Being suspicious of strangers, he makes up a good watchdog. He's also a strong-willed dog who requires a firm but kind owner. Don't be surprised when he tries to hurt you or your children. Many pulleys are vocal and like to bark. A quiet command should be part of early training. Temperament doesn't just happen in a vacuum. It's affected by a number of factors including heredity, training, and socialization. Puppies with nice temperaments are curious and playful, willing to approach people and be helped by them. Choose the middle of the road puppy, not the one who's beating up his litter mates or the one who's hiding in a corner. Always trying to meet at least one of the parents, usually the mother is the one who's available, to ensure that they have nice temperaments that you're comfortable with. Meeting siblings or other relatives of the parent is also helpful for evaluating what a puppy will be like when he grows up. Before we continue, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it would mean a lot. Thanks. Like every other dog, the Puli needs early socialization, exposure to many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences when they're young. Socialization helps ensure that your Puli puppy grows up to be a well-rounded dog. Pulis are generally healthy, but like our breeds are prone to certain health conditions. While not all Pulis will get any or all of these diseases, it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. If you're buying a puppy, find a good breeder who will show you health experiences for both your puppy's parents. Health experiences prove that the dog's been tested for and cleared of a particular condition. The Puli is a herding dog at heart and he does best in a home with enough space for him to raise off his natural energy. A large yard with a tall fence or a farm is ideal. He can adjust to smaller living spaces but be prepared for his running laps around the dining room and taking leaps over the couch. Exercise and playtime aside, bring the Puli indoors to live with you. He's a loyal companion who enjoys being with people and shouldn't be permanently relegated to the backyard. The Agile Puli is a good candidate for many canine sports, especially herding tests, agility, and obedience competitions, though obedience work can seem repetitive for the fun-loving Puli. If he's not a working dog, he needs the mental and physical challenges available in dog sports. Otherwise, he can become bored, which can lead to destructive behaviors such as barking, digging, and chewing. How much your doll dog eats depends on its size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level. Dogs are individuals, and just like people, they don't all need the same amount of food. It almost goes without saying that a highly active dog will need more than a couch potato dog. The quality of the dog food you buy also makes a huge difference. The better the dog food, the further it will go towards nourishing your dog, and the less of it you'll need to shake into your dog's bowl. Keep your pulley in good shape by measuring his food and feeding him twice a day rather than leaving the food out all the time. The recommended daily amount for this particular breed is 1 to 2 cups of high quality dry food a day. The pulley coat is considered to be non-shedding and hypoallergenic. Most pulleys are black, though white and gray are also found in the United States. In Hungary, the most common color after black is the brownish falco. Black coats are described as weathered black because some white hairs begin to grow in when the dog is about a year old. In addition, because the coats don't shed, they lose some of their color intensity over time due to exposure to the sun and air. Some pulley coats are self-cording, though most are helped along by humans who separate the cords by hand when the adult coat comes in at about one year of age. The corded coat is never brushed but managed by hand. The length of the corded coat is sometimes trimmed to keep it from collecting dust and dirt. 
Begin accustoming your pulley to being examined when he's just a puppy. Handle his paws frequently as dogs are usually touchy about their feet and look inside his mouth. Make grooming a positive experience filled with praise and words and you'll lay the groundwork for easy veterinary exams and other handlings when he's an adult. The well-socialized and well-trained pulley is a good companion for children. He's playful, probably even more playful than a kid's. He's protective of the children in his family and shuttle them around the house, tugging gently at them to move them away from perceived or even real danger. As with every other breed, you should always teach children how to approach and touch dogs and always supervise any interaction between dogs and young children to prevent any biting or ear or tail pulling on part of either party. Teach your child never to approach any dog while he's eating or sleeping or to try to take the dog's food away. No dog, no matter how friendly, should ever be left unsupervised with a child. The pulley gets along well with other dogs and pets as long as he's taught to do so from a young age. Early positive introductions to other animals make it easy for the adult pulley to accept other pets in his home. Alright guys, what do you think about the pulley? Tell me down in the comments. 